trying to come every morning. Uh, one hour or half an hour. It's a good start with relaxing. Yeah, because it's time with full with stress, so it's good to start with. We are going to hear a tea garden. I like to come every morning to drink a tea and read my newspapers. And sometimes I also use the place as my office. I... Also, my girlfriend will join us. Hi. Hi. Come in. I remember my childhood time and there were many places like this, you know, uh, many places, but not anymore, unfortunately. These places are closing because of maybe they, are, they don't get enough money or they prefer to open uh, some luxury place for the rich people. Because we are really central of the town. This is really center of the center, so it's not usual to find this kind of place anymore. I come here almost every day, you know, sometimes twice a day uh, to meet with my friends or uh, some of them uh, just the first meetings also could be here, you know, it's a good place to start relationships, any kind of, you know, it's, it's business or whatever. And your relationship with the start here? She invited me, her tea garden, then I invited her to this tea garden. And so the first day we also came yeah, here. here yes. yeah. Just 15 years ago, there were many trams in Istanbul. Uh, that time, this street was open to the traffic. There were many cars, so last five years, they closed the street. And they thought it could be a great idea to brought this tram back. Now it's become one of the symbol of this street. You know. This is the main Street for entertainment, you know, theaters, cinemas, shopping places, restaurants. The, all the young people come here, I mean, uh, for weekend. This is not for tourists, you know, this is for more local people. You can see many tourists too, but mainly for local people. And they say every day there's one million circulation people are coming, but at least one million. This is the very old building and including three cinemas in it and one theater and many others passage. Unfortunately, now they want to uh, uh, rebuild new shopping mall inside. And everyone gets so angry because this street is very famous street for the Turkish cinema. We call it Yeşilçam. It's like a Hollywood, you know, the same symbol. And the cinema is also a symbol of uh, Yeşilçam, you know, the Turkish cinema, Turkish cinema industry. I, I had always one dream, you know, when I was 17, I was coming here to watch movies. I, I was wondering that time if I become a uh, filmmaker one day, I hope I can show my movie, especially in this theater. I was lucky I done this two years ago, but unfortunately now it's closing and it's really, really bad for, 
for many people. I mean, they have good memories there. For a long time, this cinema was used to be a porn cinema, you know? They were showing porn films. But it was weird because, you know, it's really on the center, you know? So <laughs> people was a little bit ashamed to enter, you know? If you accidentally enter, you were ashamed. But this uh, patisserie is also unique. They do profiterol, profiterol. They do the best profiterol in uh, Istanbul. I mean, since I don't know, 100 years. The, uh, the same family running the uh, place. Uh, the, I think these are our last mm, days to taste their wonderful Provetero. They have to move. We should try. This is the old books. Bazaar, we call it Saraf. Uh, there are not so many, but this is one of the unique ones. Uh, you can find some, some you know, old books. Uh, new, there's no, if there's no new published ones, uh, you can come and ask the people. They can try to find for you. It's like, uh, I mean, uh, you are digging the uh, uh, trash to find treasure. I don't know what I'm looking for, but I, I, I just came and look. Um, sometimes I just just came to, you know, look around. Let's say once in two weeks. <laughs> End of the heaven. Gündüz Vasaf. Cennetin dibi. This is the fish market. The fishermen come and they sell their own fish here. You always you can find fresh fish here. Istanbul's fish are so uh, tasty, so you don't need to put some special sauce, or you don't need to cook very different way. I mean, not it's it's okay when you do it in the oven or grill or uh, fry. So it, it's so easy to make the fish. I mean, it's not like a French style or you know, many sauces. You don't need that. I mean, you need only fish and the salad. That's it. These hours, you know, this light, we call it hüzün. There's special words for this. It's a, there's no direct translation, but uh, we can translate positive melancholy. It's, this word is really related to Istanbul, especially in these hours. You know? And uh, there's one great novelist, Ahmed Hamdi Tanpınar. He lived uh, early 20s, in 1920s, 30s. He had great uh, novel about this positive melancholy. <laughs> <laughs> 